ओके चिल्ड्रेन क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स ऑफ विच लेसन ए फोटोग्राफ बाई शोले टोलसन सो आर यू रेडी ओके सो लेट्स बिगिन क्वेश्चन वन द पोएट टॉक्स अबाउट अ पर्टिक्युलर कार्डबोर्ड हाउ इज इट स्पेशल टू हर द पोएट टॉक्स अबाउट अ पर्टिक्युलर कार्डबोर्ड टू विच इज पेस्टेड हर मदर्स फोटोग्राफ taken at the beach sea beach the mother seems to have been enjoying her sea holiday the photograph is special why as she has lost her mother some time back and looking at the photograph makes her happy as well as sad <clears throat> what can you say about the childhood of the poet's mother the childhood of the poet's mother must have been filled with fun and happiness this is clear from the snapshot of the sea holiday they are enjoying their holiday the mother of the poet laughs uh, when they are looking at the snapshot even after many years have passed since the sea holiday all this shows us that it was a very pleasant childhood full of enjoyment yes what moment does the photograph depict the photograph clicked by the uncle of the poet's mother depicts a sea holiday being enjoyed by the poet's mother and her two cousins dolly and betty they are full of smiles in their beach dresses not worrying about their flying hair were their three cousins were the three cousins camera friendly who was taking their photograph the three cousins appeared to be camera friendly as they stood at the sea beach without moving when the uncle took the photograph the poet's mother would laugh looking at the photograph why do you think she did that the poet's mother was in was in middle age when she looked at the photograph and used to laugh remembering those golden days of her childhood enjoying a sea holiday she would also laugh at the beach dress which looked weird weird and strange funny sort of after many years what impression do you form about the uh, poet's mother the poet's mother was very pretty at the age of 12 she enjoyed the sea holiday this is indicated by the happiness that she gets in middle age after looking at her childhood photograph the sea appears to have changed less in comparison to the three girls who enjoyed the sea holiday comment on this the poet compares the mortal nature mortal because one day they have to die their existence in this universe is temporary that is why man is said to be mortal yes human beings are mortal as compared to the eternal nature of the sea or natural objects with the passage of time with the passage of time the poet's mother died but the vast sea has remained as it was since the photograph was taken yes okay now question number 8 why does the poet feel nostalgic so the answer the poet sees an old photograph of her mother uh in which she was standing on the beach with her two cousins dolly and betty so they were enjoying themselves the photograph captured her mother's sweet and smiling face <clears throat> at that time she was around 12 years old the poet remembers how her mother used to laugh whenever she looked at that old photograph but time has passed and now the poet has not been left only with the memories of her mother that she feels nostalgic what does the poet say about her mother's face the poet remarks that her mother had a sweet face smiling and caring for her cousins who were younger to her the poet also says that her mother used to enjoy these sea holidays and would laugh heartily later on when she saw the photograph now the next question how does the poet react to her past 
Yeah, how does she react? Why has she not mentioned anything about her mother's death? The poet remembers with sadness her mother's laughter, which she cannot hear anymore because the mother is dead. The poet is full of a sense of loss and does not mention about her mother's death. As it may bring more gloom, more pain to her, that is why that makes her speechless. Does the poet appear to be grieving, expressing sadness? Yes, of course. The poet is sad, certainly filled with a sense of what? With a sense of loss. Her mother is long dead, and though the poet has adjusted to her absence, she is not able to completely overcome her loss. She remembers how it used to be when her mother was still with her. The last line is an apt depiction. Of a state of mind. The loss has filled her life with silence. Comment on the tone of the poem. The tone of the poem is that of sadness. Shirley Tolson looks at an old photograph of her mother and is sadly reminded of her mother who is no more. Yes, so she mourns the death of her mother indirectly but only but this photograph has made her speechless and silent. So, the poet has paid a tribute to her mother. Similar instances can be seen in the portrait of a lady. This made you think that writing about a loved one is much better than building the statues or drawing their portraits. Comment. Many writers have paid tributes to their loved ones through beautiful writing. Kushwan Singh gave an adorable description about his grandmother through his story. Shirley Tolson remembered her mother through her heart-touching poem. In my opinion, writing about a loved one is much better than building their statues or, what, or drawing their portraits. Yeah. One can never tell the true personality of a person just by looking at the sculptures or portraits. Sometimes someone has spent, yeah, you always remember the time that you have spent with your near and dear ones. That is what happens in this poem. That magic can only be created by words. Words stand the passage of time, whereas sculptures and portraits may get damaged by it. Hence, words are the best way to which uh, are the best way by which one uh, can pay tribute to one's loved ones. It's silence silences, writes Shirley Tolson. The loss of a mother has silenced her. Do you think that this attitude of the poet is a right attitude to live life? Why or why not? There is no doubt that Shirley Tolson has given a very touching tribute to her mother by remembering her through her verses. It is apparent that she is very much nostalgic and is grieving at the loss of her mother. Though she says that over the years she has adjusted to her mother's absence, but circumstances have surely filled her with silence and a deep void. We cannot deny that it hurts very much to lose someone, but the attitude shown by the poet at the end is not the right way. Life will keep going on even if we stop to lament our loss. Loss is universal. It is a law of nature. We cannot let ourselves what get depressed. So we have to move on in life. However, grieving to the point of hampering the normal functions is what is not acceptable. You cannot at all do that. Yes. Happy moments are short-lived but provide a lifetime memory. They provide a cushion to bear the difficulties which the future has in store for you. Comment in the light of the poem. A photograph by Shirley Tolson. So our life is a mixture of happy as well as adverse times, bad times. We must learn to move on with the help of those happy memories which provided us with so much enjoyment and happiness. 
as life is not a bed of roses every one at one stage or another is likely to face what difficulties at the time of difficulties happy moments can give us solace it can console us yes but and fill us with positivity which is required which are required happy moments will certainly provide us with a hope a ray of hope as happy moments are short lived so are difficult times one must learn to cope with the situation the memories of happy times can provide us what a cushion to bear difficulties with patience and peace so these are very important questions and answers please go through and note them down in your notebooks this is your assignment uh very important again from the point of view of examination also these questions are very important examination is fast approaching be ready be well prepared thank you